I can change my mind if I want to, right? Uh, we have someone else who's uh, in attendance. We have J.C. Cunningham, who's running for state representative. J.C., you want to come up and say a few words? Good evening. I'm sorry I'm late and didn't get to hear everyone speak, but uh, welcome and thanks to everyone for being out. Uh, you know, every, every first Monday of the month, we come up here and speak almost to the, some of the same people, so I'm not going to uh, hold you real long, except that I, there's one issue that I really want to bring up, and I've been talking about it a lot lately, and it's the charter school uh, amendment. Uh, it is uh, one of the most misleading uh, preambles that you'll ever see, and I'm just encouraging everyone to, uh, to go to my uh, website or go to my Facebook page, my political Facebook page. I've been writing on this issue almost every day um, because, uh, you know, we owe it to our children. We owe it to our most vital resources to ensure that, that, that the Constitution of the state of Georgia is not overturned for um, political reasons. Uh, it's never been about uh, local control for charter schools. It's never been about that. Um, uh, there is a, you know, the, there's always been local control. Uh, school boards have always had control. But if you read the preamble, it would, it would make you think that this is all about giving uh, local school systems control. We've always had that control. We do not need a, a pr uh, private, uh, hand-picked commission uh, to dictate whether we need a charter school in any city or any county. I, I, it doesn't make any sense that, that we would allow uh, six men or women in Atlanta to decide who uh, and where we need a charter school in Lowndes County or Brooks County or Thomas County. So I, I really encourage everyone to, to, to really look at that, that issue. And also, I want you to encourage everyone, when they go and vote, that we need to start voting on October the 15th. We don't need to be waiting until till November the, the 6th. You know, we've been hearing a lot about voter suppression. If we want to get around voter suppression, let's ensure that folks who think they may have some problems with their ID, that they vote absentee. Uh, absentee, we won't have those problems. So we have to make sure that not only we ask people to go out and vote, that we make sure that people have the IDs they need. If they don't, encourage them, if they're not going to vote absentee, encourage them to go down to their local, whether whatever county they're in, to go by the Board of Elections, and they will provide an ID. The only catch is it's going to take four to five days before you can get that ID. So they don't need to be thinking they're going to get an ID on November the, the, the 1st. Uh, to, to vote. So ensure that we're talking to folks this way and, and, letting, and educating um, people every day on, on things that's important. But October the 15th is the day, and we need to make sure folks uh, uh, vote early. As you already know, we only have 12 voter precincts in Lowndes County uh, this election. In, the, in, in, in 2008, we had 34 um, uh, places for folks to vote. So if that's not paramount to voter suppression, I don't know what it is myself. But anyway, we need folks. That means lines are going to be longer and they're going to be heavier. So we need to encourage uh, uh, our folks to, uh, to vote early. And also getting back to the charter school, I, wanted to, I, 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 I slipped for a second. I guess it's that, the Alzheimer's we were talking about. Um, the charter school uh, amendment is at the bottom of the ballot. So we have to make sure that folks go all the way to the bottom of the ballot. So when you're talking to your people, when you're out canvassing and you're speaking to folks, make sure they're aware that it's at the bottom of the ballot. So when we're talking to folks and we're saying vote no for charter schools, we're also asking them to vote, to look for the First Amendment, the, 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 the first one as they go down, and they'll, and they'll see that. So make sure that, that, that we get out and do that. And I want to thank, I've had uh, two fundraisers in uh, the past uh, three weeks, and I want to thank everyone who came out, and I see about 10 or 12 people out here who's, who's come out to our fundraisers and um, uh, gave money to the campaign. I really want to thank you. So if you didn't get a personal thank you, I'm, I'm saying that now. 
And uh, I just hope to, uh, that we have a good turnout on November the 6th. I hope that we, as a, as, as a Democratic Party, ensure that we look to the right and we look to the left and make sure no one's left home when we go out and vote. Thank you.